Just a couple quick disclaimers before we begin. Firstly, do not go to war with anyone mentioned in this video. And lastly, because this series purpose is to critique and comment on the artwork presented in it, it falls under fair use. Now, on with the show. DeviantArt, one of the world's largest online art galleries, holding great masterpieces, but also great eccentricities. Today, we will take a look at someone from there. On this episode of DeviantArt Critique, we will be diving into Steve San. Steve San is an artist that has been around on DeviantArt for a good 14 years, according to his bio. During this time, he has acquired a fanbase of 302 watchers and has published over 2,000 deviations in his gallery. He first came to my attention due to a viewer of mine posting a comment that stated that he used to post fetish art on a site called YGAL, which has been taken down at the time of writing this. He has seemingly moved on from this phase of his career, however, so let's see what Steve San is doing now. In my opinion, Steve San is actually a pretty decent artist. He has a very solid and unique anime style going for him. I would personally describe it as a cross between 90s anime, chibi, and South Park. This hybrid style would certainly let him stand out among the crowd. It is also evident from this stylistic choice that Steve San is clearly going for a cutesy aesthetic in his gallery, and he has accomplished that quite well. He also says that he likes cute things in his bio, so it is definitely intentional. He also has a pretty decent understanding of lighting and anatomy. I noticed no visibly bad flaws in the anatomy department, but I would like to see him improve in his shading capabilities. He knows what to do with shading, but he has not shown any advanced level understanding of it in his work. However, there is one big flaw in his work that is hiding in plain sight. That is the fact that, for some inexplicable reason, he has never, even slightly bothered, to draw any backgrounds in his art whatsoever. The lack of backgrounds in his art not only makes his work feel empty, but also holds back his potential by a substantial amount. Backgrounds serve to ground the viewer in the environment that the art is trying to portray, and a lack of one gets rid of that grounding, leading it to have a sort of emptiness to it, if you know what I mean. If there is one thing that I would want Steve San to take away from this video, it would be to add in backgrounds for the reasons mentioned just 10 seconds ago. Overall though, Steve San is a decent artist that has moved forward over the 14 years that he's been on DeviantArt. My final recommendations to him are as follows. Firstly, add in backgrounds. You can probably tell what I would say here. Secondly, use references. These can not only be used for backgrounds, but also for anatomy and poses as well. And finally, experiment. The fact that you haven't used any backgrounds yet means that there is a huge amount of things that you can explore in your work. Using those two tips above, you can hopefully create compelling scenarios that people are interested in. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, XenonQuirk996. Have a nice day.